Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to another update on the crypto market. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, some specific cryptos, three cryptos, which I've actually mentioned before uh, in previous videos. In fact, I'm going to also tell you about the crazy, astonishingly crazy move in what's happening in Dash in a few minutes. Let's take a look, first of all, at one specific crypto, crypto chart, and this is the chart of NEO. Uh, NEO has actually been said to be backed by the Chinese, and I've mentioned this in my previous videos, if you recall, during the holidays. Now, notice what's happening on this chart. Number one, after the bottom we put in, in October, well, so far it does look like a bottom. The low we made in December appears to be a higher low. A higher low we put in December is indicative of a potential uptrend. Now, we've also broken above some key averages, pulses fire to the upside, and it does appear now this could be the, the next leg of a potential uptrend. I've mentioned this before that, uh, by the way, nice cup and handle, perhaps a nice cup and handle or reverse and a shoulder pattern on the right hand side there as well, by the looks of it. Uh, I think NEO has to break now 13.22 uh, or 13.25 for this to show uh, strength or to, to confirm a potential uptrend. We need to break that resistance that we formed back in October, November. So that's the key level. It needs to, NEO at the minimum needs to remain above 10, above the 10 level, and needs to now maintain momentum and push above 13.25. If it can get above that level, that would be a very strong bullish move. There is another crypto I want to talk to you about. This particular crypto has often said to be, uh, some, some proponents of this particular crypto say that uh, the security features uh, are good with this crypto. Now, whether they're right or wrong, we'll, we'll talk about this. But this is Monero, XRP, X, uh, XMR, I beg your pardon. This is a chart of Monero. Monero is very powerful move. Look at that. The trend line has been broken, uh, broken about the 50 simple moving average now. Very nice. Uh, Again, sort of a double bottom formation there uh, in 2020, uh, sorry, 2019. A higher low put in there. Bottom line is, guys, if Monero is in an uptrend, if this is a bullish uptrend in Monero, it needs to protect and remain above that low it made there. I think it's about 58, uh, by the looks of it, probably about 57, 58. It needs to remain above that level to maintain this bullish uptrend momentum. If it falls below that low, if it falls below 55 or 57, um, that's it, forget it. This is, a, this is a failed rally. So as long as it maintains this, it looks pretty good and it looks like a brand, brand new uptrend here on uh, Monero. Finally, the last chart I want to talk to, you, talk to you about is this one. This is Dash. Take a look at this, guys. Amazing move, guys. Look at this, without a doubt. Pulse fires to the upside. And I mentioned this, just, just look at this chart for a second, guys. Just come out of the chart. I have mentioned Dash to you before, as you may recall. As a matter of fact, some years back, Dash was called Dark Coin. This has actually been one of my favorites now for, for a long time. I remember the last time I talked about Dash, people said, forget it, it's, it's, it's garbage. But look, guys, I did say to you the back in, in the past, this is one to keep your eye on. Let's take a look at the chart now. Just quickly mentioning this powerful move, uh, massive uh, you can break out to the, to the resistance. Bottom line is, guys, after the pulse fired, we do have an uh, acceleration extreme uh, orange signal. Orange is a moderate signal. It's not as powerful as a red or a purple. Bottom line is on this daily chart, we do have some overbought uh, signals. Uh, again, it's not a red or a purple. Uh, at the moment, it's just moderate, but it does mean this. We could have a potential, perhaps a bit of a pullback, some kind of retracement. But here's the thing. For, for Dash to maintain this uptrend, it needs to remain above 77. That's the key le level. As long as it remains above 77, the key support this could have further upside to it after a potential pullback, some kind of retracement perhaps down to the 100 levels. Um, but it could potentially go uh, higher. Fall, if it falls below 77, forget it, I'm not interested because that could potentially disrupt the uptrend. That's all we got, guys, uh, for this particular video. Thanks very much indeed, and I'll see you guys in the next video update. Bye for now.